Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, I am out in the shop for a little while tonight. I've got a couple of projects I want to work on. Um, if you watch my other channel, RJB Woodturner, you will know that I did a couple of faith, hope, and love pins and was very disappointed because the tolerances on the kits were the pits. Um, I need to let you know that I contacted Penn State and they have attempted to make good on those pins. They sent me two replacement nibs to hopefully uh, take care of the deformed nibs I had and they sent me two trim rings and I haven't uh, worked on them yet. We're going to do that for the video, but hopefully they have remanufactured these and they the tolerances are better and I'm able to get a couple of beautiful looking pins. But keep an eye out on the other channel for that video. It's coming up. Uh, beyond that, I got a couple of blanks in the mail today. I want to show you these. Casey Martin over at Wine Country Pins sent these to me. The top one is those sweet gum balls or sweet gum pods that uh, fall off the sweet gum trees and he's uh, embedded them in Alumalite. And the bottom two are grapevine uh, embedded in Alumalite and he specializes in these blanks. Um, and as I think I mentioned it, his uh, website is winecountrypins.com. Casey, thank you. These are gorgeous and I cannot wait to turn them. Beyond that, what I plan to do in the shop tonight is um, I'm just going to set myself up and prepare for this weekend. I'm hoping to have some time Saturday to turn some of the blanks I showed you the other day, the uh, deer antler blanks. Uh, and also I want to take a look at some of the pins that uh, I had that had some issues and make a call whether it's whether it's worth fixing them or whether it's best just to cut bait and and start over. Uh, and I got to get those ready because you know I'm getting short on time. Uh, and there's one other thing I'm going to be working on. Let me show you this. This is a case that my dad picked up for five bucks at a garage sale. Now it was a coin case and on the top it said, you know, US coins. Uh, I, that was scraped, my wife scraped it off with a razor blade and it had a black felt over this uh, insert. And the black felt would say like seated Liberty dime or Buffalo nickel Indian head penny in gold letters. And then I guess you, from this company, you purchased the, uh, the coins in little plastic cases and you set them in here and you could display them. What I'm going to do is I bought some flocking and I'm going to flock this tray. We peeled the, the uh, felt off of it, but I'm going to flock this tray, get it back in the bottom of this display case. And I think that's a beautiful display case. I'll be able to use that on my table. Um, generally, when I go to a craft show, uh, I have my slimline pens and I like to put them out on the table because I like people to see them and get them in their hand and write with them. And, uh, you know, they're, they're not the more expensive pens. Uh, so I don't mind them getting handled, you know, all day long. And, you know, that a lot of times is what people need to feel the pen and see the pen and write with the pen uh, to know that they like it and they want to buy it. But there are people who like to buy pens that are just a little bit nicer, um, higher end pens. And I don't like to lay those on the table because kids really... <laughs> really love ink pens because they're shiny and and I, I get a lot of problems with kids who they'll grab ink pens and maybe it'll have a screw on cap and they'll pull the cap off and strip the threads and I've lost a few ink pens that way so this case is going to be great because I can take my higher end pens I can lay them out in the case for display I'll have it right there on the side of the table or in the middle of the table and if someone is looking at pens and they are interested in a a nicer quality pen or a higher quality pen, um, one of my high-end pens, I can open the case up and that particular person can reach in and, and uh, pick out whatever they want, take, a, take the time to test write with it or whatever and, and decide if it's right for them. So uh, I'm pretty excited about uh, that case and five bucks, man, I hate to think what the guy who bought it for the coins paid for it initially. Well, that's pretty much all I've got right now. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, I may come back later tonight and shoot another video depending on what I get done. Uh, if, you know, if it's if it's something worth uh, worth sharing. But uh, I'm just going to knock around the shop for a while. Take care. Thanks a lot for joining me and hanging out. I always love having people in my shop. And uh, if you have any questions or uh, would like to know anything or anything you'd like. I mean, sometimes I get questions about, hey, tell me about this or tell me about that. Let me know, guys, and I'll walk you through and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at it and talk about it. Always looking for video ideas. Hey, take care and have a great evening.